Hello Facebook, YouTube. Topic of the message is something that is very important to understand if you're going to be a true representation of Jesus Christ or yeah, I mean and love the Lord thy God. If you love the Lord thy God, you will understand this idea. This idea is very important. If this will determine a lot of things concerning your relationship with God your relationship with the world and or more likely how how come you desire uh, people and things so much pretty much and this idea is one of the most important ideas you need to learn about uh, either really if you love God or you love this world you know what I'm saying really determines this idea and the react and the topic of this message is talking about the reality of who gets the glory? Who gets the glory? Or more likely, I want not who gets the glory, a glory factor. I don't want to present it as a glory factor. Because here's a problem that people are not understanding about, you know, uh, life. I mean, about this situation of what's going on on earth. It's all about that. It's all about that. It's the highest height. If you, anybody that know God, know God that he doesn't want to share his glory with no man. I repeat, he do not want to share his glory with no man. And, I, and people, and I, unfortunately, the church do not really understand that at all concerning their actions and how they establish, uh, they have what more likely events that they say that it's about God and and it's about glorifying God or something like that. And oh my gosh, how so not it is about glorifying God. Because number one, number one, in order to truly glorify God and be about glorifying God, you need to Oh, this thing called obedience. Yeah, you need to be obedient towards what God give you. You know, like I keep telling people about, we church is supposed to obey uh, Acts two forty two, uh, the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread. We and prayer. That this is the foundation that Peter gave us. But now they have a system of uh, events the church do that will um be about glorifying men and women of God, you know? And it's like everybody's coming to see men of God here or coming to see women of God there. And it's like everybody's looking at this and like, oh this this has got to be of God here because we're coming to see a man of God and we're coming to see a woman of God here. You know what I'm saying? And they think that this is what God is all about. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me say that again. God is not going to share his glory with no man or no flesh. More likely, 1 Corinthians 1 and 29. Get that in your mind if you truly want to be about having a relationship with Jesus Christ and God. God is not going to share his glory with no flesh. But the thing is, people are not, they, but the church is not understanding to what extent is he talking about. What no means no. And all means all. When God says he gets all the glory, glo that, that's supposed to mean all. That, it's not supposed to mean that, you know, some, some man of God or some woman of God or some singer or some... Uh, artist or whatever, some dancer or whatever give you God, that doesn't mean that person. It means God get, let me see here, all the glory. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he desires all the glory. And those that love him and those that understand that, understands the protocol and will Put out and we'll tell everybody that we're supposed to be about going for God. Because here's the thing I, of course, discovered about the true purpose of God concerning the church, concerning that we're supposed to be about fellowship and stuff like that, mainly. 
And the thing is, you know, I found out in fellowship, you know, it's 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 a it's a um event that doesn't put no emphasis on people. You know what I'm saying? It's an event that share with one another, people sharing one another, conversations with one another, understanding the talking about the Bible, understanding about the Bible, and coming in agreement with what the Word of God says. And when you do that in fellowship and and and, and focus on you know what the Word of God says and, and, and encouraging your brothers and sisters to follow the Word of God and what it says, um, that, there's no there's no big eye, you know what I'm saying? There's no big time person, there's no big time minister, there's no big time evangelist, there's no big time nothing in the position and when you're about fellowship. Everybody's what this equal. Yes, everybody's equal. Majority of people speaking. One thing I love about fellowship that I everybody gets to talk. Everybody has a say so. Everybody's questioning on the idea of the reality of the scriptures and finding out if this is true or this is false from different angles, different perspectives. A pastor or bishop or whoever so and so can't come and just bring his spectrum and just say this is this and this is that. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. You know, this is the word of God here. No, it's everybody speaks and everybody questions to get a better understanding of understanding what the word of God is all about and have a sense of what they have to do and what they have to perform and how Christians encouraging them to uh, achieve the accomplish of being made in the image and the likeness of God, which is what the idea because it because I love fellowship because it has a team team mindset is a more team mindset than these other conferences and whatever revelation one person man of god telling the word of god and you know everybody think this he's he's awesome or she's awesome and, and whoa let's give her money and give her money and and oh that ministry is great i'm gonna go follow this follow that no that's not what god had in mind that's is a form of glorification that means you're giving this minister credit or more likely you don't know to what extent you're giving that person credit that this person is going to help me get closer to god this person going to get, help me get closer to god you know because i love these posts pictures that they got out there talking about you know your pastor can't save you your uh preacher minister can't save you this person can't save you only jesus can save you because it's sad how it is right now that we are so far from the will of god the purpose of god of following the scriptures concerning being a true church that we need to be understanding that this is if we are at a position that we're getting more like oh let me explain what glory means glory means to give the credit to that or give honor give give the credit that this person did this that they are the reason why you this they're the reason why you know and stuff like that no the only the only one the only one deserves all the glory you know is jesus christ that's it and, and Jesus Christ and God. That's the only two people I know deserve the glory and honor that's due to him. Because God wants all the glory. You know what I'm saying? And all glory. And no flesh can I get no glory. It's crazy. People, this church is glory driven that I've been, you know, around and grew up in. And I'm seeing how much people emphasize people so much. And I'm like, well, who, who, where's Jesus here? Where's Jesus? You know, they use it for men. They call it promotion to become this great minister and great this and great that. And this is just it's really bogus because, look, like I said, who this thing is a team work, you know, and fellowship and in the event of fellowship is a team work where they're working as a team together, you know, encouraging one another, admonishing one another. I love, you know. Read Romans 12. Romans 12 is a great, um, great chapter to read, you know, to show forth that, you know, the idea of what I'm saying concerning that fellowship will develop a chemistry that can truly have us truly represent the kingdom of God. 
that there's no big eyes, no little use, that it's Christians coming together, questioning the scriptures and making sure that they have the understanding of how they're supposed to perform the love of God, the joy of the Lord that being their strength, having a peace of God that pass on the strength, standing, coming together as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's big, nobody's, you know, big time or little time. Or everybody's coming together and understanding what needs to be performed, what needs to be done if we want to be a representation of Jesus Christ and, you know, uh, be a light of the light, the light that we need to be. And, and only fellowship to me is that true uh, way, direction to get that accomplished. But, you know, nobody's not going to tell you this because people... Are getting exalted in churches high and mighty like they everything and you know people exalted and thinking this person great and stuff like that that ain't gonna happen and, and and God is not being you know a truly represented the way he's supposed to be represented and his sad situation is going on but things will change but look all glory if you don't get anything out of this video you better get this whole idea right here all glory belongs to God get and understand this idea this is the idea that's going to make you have a true relationship with God and understand that you we can, we can give honor to uh, well, people but we cannot give glory to people and there's a difference between that we can appreciate honor is to appreciate we can appreciate a person and what that person has helped them through that that's appreciation but honor I mean, but glory is different. It's like you giving the credit that that person is the reason why you exist or you reason why you the person you are, all that kind of stuff. But that's happening in action. See, it's an action. See what I'm saying? It's not about lip service, but it's an action. People treat people that way. And it's a terrible thing that's going on in the church that is no teamwork whatsoever in the church because of the division system that we got these buildings that tells that you go to such and such a church go to such and such a church that's a lie it's only one church one body one 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 Ephesians 4 is how we supposed to serve the Lord and that's the message and it's all about giving him all the glory all the honor and all the praise as what Paul says in 1 Corinthians and one and all the way to I think 30 to uh, 31. So that's the message. I hope you got it. Hope it bless your heart. To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen. All the glory belongs to God. None, none the men. All of it belongs to God. But you determine it how you do what you do. 100.